<laughs> um, hi everybody, how are you doing today? Uh, Stu Leonard Jr. and I just uh, am here on behalf of our family and I'm very, very, very proud today. Um, this is a, a day where we've been honored to have Senator Blumenthal come to our store to honor, you know, the people who are out on the front lines working so hard every day to feed our communities here in Connecticut. And, um, you know, we have our group. We've been asked just about every day there's something new to do, but we've been really working hard at Stu Leonard's to, to stay on top of everything going on to make sure that our customers are safe and also our team members are safe that are coming in. And here's some of the things we're doing here. Well, well there, first of all, there's Jamie DiStefano who runs the store here in Newington. But we do this daily deep cleaning every single night here at Stu's. This whole building gets totally washed down above CDC standards. Um, we also have a two-hour cleaning blitz, which actually is an hour. I just saw the gallon coffee. We're doing that and just constantly wiping things down. We have one shopper per family. Thank you, everybody, for coming just with one person. That helps us keep the number of people in Stu Leonard's uh, uh, down to a minimum, which we want to do so we can practice the six feet. We also have lots of advice from the state. I want to thank just the mayors that I've been uh, talking to, uh, Mayor Rillings in Norwalk, Boughton up in Danbury, um, and also Governor Lamont here in Connecticut, and Governor Cuomo in New York has helped us. But I just want to thank everybody because they're giving us up-to-the-minute advice on how we can make the store better. Um, we're also opening one hour earlier for seniors, which is great. Uh, we have mask and gloves for all our team members and even customers now. Whoop. And then we have someone wiping the carts down to hand sanitizer so you have a clean cart when you come in. Uh, and then the other thing, we, 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 just, we have plexiglass at the registers, but we just added this now, uh, you know, today actually, is having a VIP line for first responders. So anybody out there who's a first responder, you can cut in line. And, um, and, so, and, and I just want to say thank you to all these great people right here. Um, you know what? Hey guys, give me a hi, give me a, <laughs> okay. Cause this is, these are the people out on the front line every day and I'm, I'm out on the front line myself. I wanna, I wanna be leading the charge here at Stu Leonard. So th thank you everybody very much. Hey, the second thing that really makes me feel good is I read an article um, in the Danbury News Times and it says Connecticut Food Bank out of food. And we went to work on it. Uh, Paul McLean is here right here who does all our buying at Stu Leonard's. We called up and, and put together a trailer load right here of food that's gonna be delivered to the Connecticut Food Bank. And we have Dan Gomez here from the, from the food bank and he'll talk a little bit after that. But anyway, uh, I'm honored to be here. I, I represent our family and I just wanna thank everybody very much. And thank you, Senator makes me feel so good it makes us all don't we feel good makes us feel so good to be able to give the food to the food bank like that people that need it so with that i would love to uh, introduce our great senator of connecticut you know senator blumenthal thanks Stu. thank okay. you but uh we are living in a time of tremendous adversity anguish and anxiety but it's also a time to celebrate the folks who are putting their lives on the line, literally risking everything so that the rest of us can be safer and survive this tremendously challenging period. So I want to thank uh, Stu Leonard, who has been endlessly generous to so many good causes over the years and uh, has given us uh, this opportunity to thank the frontline workers in his stores and in so many other stores around Connecticut. We celebrate, rightly, healthcare workers, fire, police, but these folks who are on the lines, stocking stores, cashiering and maintaining grocery stores where people buy essential foods 
are exposing themselves every day to the risk of infection. They are among the frontline workers, and I am here to say thank you for all that you do. Thank you for making food possible for so many people. And in recognition of what they do and all of our frontline workers, I have proposed a heroes fund. These folks are among our heroes. They should be recognized and rewarded. And we need to retain and recruit more like them, not only in the grocery stores, but obviously health workers, fire, police, postal workers, all the folks who are public facing and providing essential services should receive premium pay funded by the federal government. $13 an hour on top of what they make right now, up to a certain amount, $25,000. And the idea is that these frontline workers will be rewarded, retained, recruited. Retention, rewarding, recruiting these workers is not only appropriate, it is important to keeping us all safe because they are on the front lines and they are the heroes. So I'm here to say thank you, but also more than just words, more than just words recognize that some additional financial recognition is also appropriate. And that $13 an hour is gonna help a lot of people if we can get it passed by the federal government, which we will try to do this week or whenever the fourth package is approved. Now, I want to say one more thing, uh, if I may, about the, the food bank. Uh, I've been out there when the mobile food pantry has given away food to people who've waited in line for an hour. Literally, these lines are miles long. And they will hand out 400 packages of food, and still there are more people in line. We are living through a period of unprecedented hardship and heartbreak in this state. This heartbreak is beyond anyone's imagining or planning, and that's why this donation to the food bank is so important. And so I want to thank uh, Stu Leonard and everyone who's involved, and most especially the food bank, uh, to you, Dan Gomez, and to all of the dedicated workers at the food bank, thank you for what you are doing to make this adversity more tolerable for folks who are living without food. Thank you very much, and maybe now you could say a couple of words. <clears throat> well, I guess first of all, I really want to <clears throat> thank Stu Leonard's, Stu Jr., for this very generous gift. Most of you don't understand just the impact that COVID-19 has had on our local communities, but we're seeing a lot of folks for the very first time. And we serve over six counties and 600 member agencies and pantries across the state. And I can tell you it's unprecedented for us. So something like this translates into 60 to 70,000 meals, this one trailer full of food. So we are so grateful and so appreciative, Stu. We may, uh, really thank you for that. At the same time, I'll tell you, donations go a long way. So whether it's food or dollars or what have you, this is a time where the food supply is really being pressed to its full limit. So this goes a long way for us and we're very thankful for that. So thank you, Stu. It is, you know, a little stressful working on, you know, the grocery stores, but I would never have it any other way. We love helping people and making sure, you know, food's getting on their tables at home. So I'm just proud to be involved with it and it would definitely make things a lot easier. So thanks so much. That's great. What a good job you did. That's, that's pretty good. That's her first we're gonna, debut. Like. We're going to have her come down yeah. to Washington to talk to some of my colleagues. Uh, that is great. And just so everybody understands, $13 an hour, $13 an hour retroactive to January 27 of this year, which was when a national emergency was declared through the end of the year. So these folks who have been working out there day in and day out would receive that $13 an hour on top of what they make now, 
retroactively to January 27. Just a recognition and reward for their stress, anxiety, anguish, what they go through literally every day. And it would go also to obviously the healthcare workers, uh, postal, police, fire, everybody who is public facing, but uh, we're hoping it would make a big difference to them. Hey guys, here I am with my new six foot senator right now, with Senator Blumenthal right here. Thank you so much for your award. Thank you, Stu, and thank you for being so generous to the food bank. It is so inspiring what you are doing, and I think it sets a model. What you're doing here really sets a model for the whole state. Your generosity means the world. And thank you. What I want to thank you for is that nice award you gave all our team members about uh, being safe and working out on the front line today. That means a lot to them. That's going to go a long way at Stu Leonard's. Thank you. Thank you, Stu.